you are on one of those journeys that seems to be very difficult for other people to understand. You even have a difficult time understanding it yourself. In a previous lifetime you were very committed to the same person for an extremely long time. You came into this lifetime to experience a bit of variety. Change is a big word in your vocabulary. It could almost be your middle name. You are always constantly looking for the next big thing, the next great adventure, and the next love of your life. It's okay. Don't be so hard on yourself and your inability to commit to something for a long period of time. One of your challenges is taking on responsibility. Deep within you, however, is a very spiritual being that is just waiting to be awakened, and that will happen eventually. You will experience so much change in your life that at some point you will be forced to develop a strong spiritual side to make sense of it all. This will bring a tremendous amount of peace to you. Your life's experiences could easily be turned into a movie, or a book. You stand the chance of making a lot of money in life, and your biggest challenge if this happens will be holding on to it. Invest. Make wise choices. Don't blow it. Marriage and long-term relationships are extremely challenging for you. They remind you too much of the past life where you were committed to a fault, and there's a part of you that wants nothing to do with that this time around. But, you may change your mind if you meet the right person. Lightning could strike. Until then, be happy being single. You are a humanitarian. You are a leader. You like to think in broad strokes. You are compassionate and should always on some level be of service to mankind. You are very creative by nature and should always be involved with the arts. Art provides you with a sense of freedom and always seems to connect you with the community in very beautiful ways. You like this. You can think on such broad terms that you sometimes have a difficult time focusing on things like your own career. Because of this it may take some time before you decide on any chosen profession. You are very social and charming. And you seem to be able to relate to different types of people. Because you are so broad-minded, others admire you greatly. You are very effective in foreign affairs, and you do well to surround yourself with some sort of important cause. You are very friendly and you love to travel. You have a flair for the dramatic at times, but this allows you to express your feelings very openly and honestly. You sacrifice yourself at times for others, but it is this spirit of sacrifice that can be your greatest teacher. You do have a certain amount of luck surrounding you, and money can sometimes come from very unusual sources. Be careful to stay clear of negativity, not only within yourself, but in others. Disconnect the cords associated with those types of situations and allow the universe to handle it. Let go of any attachments from people that you think are in debt to you. Give unconditionally and keep moving forward. You may notice that when you do things for other people, this satisfies you in unexpected ways. Keep doing that. Don't look back. Great rewards await. Since you were born under the astrological sign of Gemini you can be, inquisitive, affectionate, open-minded, perceptive, objective, clever and witty, eloquent, cheerful, kind, charming, versatile, savvy, imaginative, generous, inventive, adaptable and communicative, but you can also be restless, nervous and tense, fickle, two-faced, nosy, quickly bored, argumentative, manipulative and indecisive. Here are some suggestions on how you can bring positive change into your life, focus then commit. Follow through on everything, trust even when it's not easy. Look at the big picture, stop putting things off it's now or never for God's sake. Relax. Mind your own bloody business and for once in your life make a decision, and most importantly learn to love yourself and others unconditionally.